to IS origin. So today we will be talking about the recent issue which has came as a India Qatar shocker. Yes, Qatar has taken a major step which has been in news. Eight Indian Navy officers have been given death penalty. Yes. हमारे यहाँ के इंडियन नेवी ऑफिसर्स को कतर हैज गिवन डेथ पेनल्टी दिस इज अ मेजर स्टेप यू आर डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग द ऑफिसर्स ऑफ सम कंट्री बट व्हाट इज द रीजन व्हाई वर दे अंडर इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर वन होल ईयर व्हाई हैव बीन दे चार्ज विद डेथ पेनल्टी सो टुडे वी विल लुक इनटू दिस इशू बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑन टू आवर टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट यू कैन एनरोल विद आई ओरिजिन फॉर प्रिलिम्स का मेन्स प्रोग्राम वेर यू विल बी गेटिंग लाइव क्लासेस करेंट अफेयर्स पी वन टू वन मेंटरशिप सेशन unlimited recorded access and the personalized timetable based on your needs so let's begin with our topic the issue is that eight former navy personnels have been arrested they were arrested in the year 2022 yes last year in august they were arrested and the charges against them were that they have been involved in the spy agency which was working for israel yes yes Qatar has laid claim over this and arrested them on this behalf. They used to work in Adhara Global Technology. Yes, at present when you look into the news articles and various websites, it will come they work under Adhara Global Technology. But no, the company in which they used to work was earlier named as Al Dhara. This was a company which was owned by a Omanian national. Yes, one of the private companies. this was not a government company but a private company but this private company was engaged in training the qatar naval army why the indian officers were involved because definitely indian army ho ya fir indian navy ho they have been trained so well and they are known so well for the valor and strategies that they have been often respected outside the world india ke paas itni lambi maritime coastline hai so they have been definitely well trained and when we talk about qatar yes qatar is located over here yahan pe jo persian gulf wala region hai this persian gulf region yahan pe definitely there have been many attacks time and again choke point rehta hai the ships have been hijacked there has been a geopolitical issue all over involved yahan pe dekha jaye this strait has also been in news and has always been the region jahan pe piracy ekdam extreme level pe hoti hai and indian navy has been the first and the foremost jo ki arrive hoti hai kisi bhi piracy wale region mein to help them or in the crisis be it covid crisis be it the gulf crisis indian navy was always in the forefront so because of their efficient training they were invited by the al dhara company for training the qatar emiri naval forces so definitely a private company but used to train the government officials over there but 2022 mein arrest ke baad this company changed its names to dhara global technology and now when you go to the website इस नाम से रिलेटेड कोई भी न्यूज नहीं आती है नो रिलेशन इज बीइंग शोन इट आल्सो सोस नो रिलेशन विद द कतर इमारी नेवल फोर्सेस जो कि पहले एसोसिएटेड थे सो दिस इज डेफिनेटली अ थिंग ऑफ सस्पेशन बिकॉज आर पर्सनल्स हैव बीन अरेस्टेड एंड ओनली वी नो दैट दे आर बीइंग कंफाइंड इनटू सॉलिटरी कंफाइनमेंट सॉलिटरी कंफाइनमेंट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जेल जेल में देयर आर टू थ्री पीपल्स रिसाइडिंग ओवर देयर बट सॉलिटरी कंफाइनमेंट ओनली अ सिंगल पर्सन इन पर्टिकुलर कंफाइनमेंट सेल सो दे हैव बीन डिटैच फ्रॉम ऑल अदर पीपल एंड ऑल अदर पर्सनल्स एंड आर आइसोलेटेड दे हैव बीन ओनली कॉन्टैक्टेड विद द फैमिली वंस फ्रॉम सिंस दिस होल ईयर सो डेफिनेटली putting our officers behind the bars and giving them that penalty without any reason because qatar has not made any official reason has not given any official lay down of sheets of what charges have been imposed on them only one statement is given that they were the spies of india so this is definitely a cumbersome and ambiguous line given by qatar and the undeclared charges on espionage because we do not know any particular charges which have been given against them they were working in the private capacity with al dhara for the italian sleet missile yes they said that italian sleet missile ke against working sikha rahe the how these missiles work but they themselves have been blamed of being an italian spy so if we talk about what are the implications of this definitely we go we should go into the depth of india qatar relation when we talk about india qatar relation it was in 1971 then qatar was formed and india was among one of the nations who recognized the independence of qatar then in 1973 diplomatic relations were established diplomatic relations mean establishing embassies in various countries de jure de facto relation so here permanent relation was established 
in two years after its independence in 1973. Then in 2008, first time our Prime Minister visited Qatar. Yes, Manmohan Singh Ji gave a visit to Qatar. So this is definitely a major step. Kisi bhi country ka leader dusre nation mein jata hai, then definitely the ties get stronger and better. So in 2008, it was a major step. Then again in 2015, Sheikh Tamim also visited India. So the leaders of both the nations definitely got a visit to each other's country and the, tide been, and the ties deepened further. And when we look on to the Qatar's important, Qatar is definitely important for India from the energy security purpose. Yes, India is a developing nation, such a huge population. India is a major export destination of Qatar. Qatar, jitni bhi countries ko export karta hai, usme se first country stand in the ranking is India. India exports LPG, liquefied petroleum gas from Qatar. Yes, petroleum gas and the liquefied natural gas also. It exports in the form of liquid natural gas because when they will be carrying from the ship if it comes in the gaseous state it cannot be bought to India in such a big amount therefore it is liquefied under a huge pressure and then exported to India. So India ki major fuel demand Qatar se fulfill ho rahi hai and if the ties get deteriorated then definitely India ki in dono cheezo pe hamper hoga and when we talk from the environmental perspective India ka goal hai to become net neutral by 2070. India's goal in COP27, then also India's goals hamper honge if india Qatar relations deteriorate because a major fuel is being imported from Qatar. Also, Qatar is a member of GCC, Gulf Corporation Council. Qatar Gulf Corporation Council ka member hai. This is beneficial for India because it will help us in Kashmir issue. Yes. Kashmir issue mein, agar humare GCC ke sang relations achhi rehte hain, then definitely Qatar will support that over Pakistan when it will come to issues like Kashmir, Opalwama or any other issues. And then is the expatriate committee. Yes, major chunk of the Indian population is working in the Middle East region, we all know. And around 8 lakh Indians are working in Qatar. So, Hamari India ki major chunk waha pe reside karta hai. It is their home. So, definitely we have a track to diplomacy also. People to people contact also with Qatar. Then is the remittance. As I said, 8 lakh Indians working. They will definitely send their earnings to India. So, India ka huge remittance ka source Qatar form karta hai. And these remittance form a good part of India's GDP. India ki GDP growth mein remittances ka bohat bada role rehta hai. And then another is UNSC support. United Nations Security Council, India from a long time wanted to get a permanent seat over there and countries like Qatar have been in India's support. So these are some of the plus points for which Qatar is definitely important for us. But the recent crisis of death penalty on our officers will definitely give a setback to these relations. But these are not a new challenges. There have been many other challenges in the past and these challenges are like Islamic conservatism. Qatar has often condemned of remarks made by India. Last year in 2022 in an election manifesto, one of the leaders made a remark on profit and the Qatar demanded a national apology from the whole nation. But India said that it is a remark by an individual, then why should whole nation apologize? So these type of issues have time and again come into news. But these are the petty issues. What is important is that it uses a soft power against India. Qatar officially jin channels ko finance karta hai. For example, Al Jazeera channel. This is a news channel of Qatar. This channel has often criticized India. Global level pe kisi news channel mein criticism dena kisi bhi country ke policy ke liye definitely derivates uski position in global world mein kharaab karti hai. And Al Jazeera has often run an aggressive campaign. Time and again criticized decisions like Article 317 to 2019. The CA bill have been criticized. All these have been criticized time and again by the Qatar channels. Also, it is being claimed of harboring terrorism. Yes. Taliban's association have also been come into news by various articles with Qatar and then the death sentence of the arrested Indian Navy personnel. So these were some of the challenges. Therefore, we can see Qatar has both sides of relation, challenging part also, but also a definitely a good partner where there are good relations with it. So what is to be done? What are the options for India? to safeguard its image and its officer. So there are options available like invoking the agreement of transfer of sentenced prisoners. This was an agreement signed in the year 2015. 
2015 Qatar and India signed an agreement where it was decided that if any personnel is being punished for any offense then they have a right to transport that particular prisoners to the native country jahan pe wo apni bachi hui sentence ko pura karte hain so they can go to this 2015 agreement and ask them to return back those eight ex navy men to our country where they will be serving for their all the penalties and all the due processes this is one of the options another is leveraging the defense ties Yes, Qatar and India have good defense tie. Also, there are various exercises, military exercises, which are conducted between India and Qatar. So, India can use these type of ties with the Qatar and persuade them to solve the issue diplomatically rather than this way. Another is legal appeal through ICG. Yes, International Court of Justice. India can go to International Court of Justice like it did in the Kulbhushan Jadhav case. but there is a point here kulbhushan jadhav case was related with pakistan so definitely you know india pakistan relations are not good you could have dragged this issue to icg but india qatar relations are not bad but they are mutually inclusive they both have economic interest in each other so icg would not be a definitely good option to go this is a deft diplomacy this option can be claimed as i said in 2015 when manmohan singh ji visited qatar the ties deepened further so deft diplomacy deals with leaders talking one on one yes the qatar and the indian leader could talk one on one and strike a way in between to solve the issue deft diplomacy another is campaign diplomacy where you will campaign diplomacy deals with garnering support from other countries and starting a campaign for the particular issue so these are some of the options that are available to india to solve the issue so if we talk about what should india do then india should definitely strike a balance and save its personnel in their respect as they have served the nation but should also follow a path of middle way so that the economic relations do not get deteriorated because it is a hard known fact jahan pe bhi do nations ke beech mein economic relations honge then the political issue gets subdued yes and both the nations should solve this problem mutually with one another because there might be other countries might take advantage of it for example pakistan might take advantage of it so there there needs to be a strike a balance where, where both the countries should come to a conclusion and qatar should definitely realize what is india's position and an indian officers should be respected for their service in qatar because they have served for 7 to 8 years over there and all the charges must be brought to the public domain with indian government so that the issue is transparent enough and has a legal backing not an ambiguous backing that was all about qatar and india issue hope you like the video do like and comment and for more such videos please subscribe to our channel is origin thank you Thank you.